Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a bike cycling BLE device using Adafruit's Clue dev board. Piloton is Adafruit's CircuitPython project for BLE sensors that can measure your heart rate and your speed and cadence. This is great for displaying your sensor data with custom fonts and graphics on a really nice display. It features Apple's music service, so you can use the touchpads to play, pause, and control the next and previous track. You can also use the buttons to change the volume. You can track your performance while you ride and have the ability to control your music. The 3D printed case and mount securely attaches to the handlebars with hardware. The case features a quarter 20 screw for using with a tripod mount so you can attach the clue in all sorts of ways. The code for this project was written in CircuitPython by Dylan Harada. Go to the learn guide to get the clue board set up with the latest version of CircuitPython. You can select from the multi-language menu and download the latest release. To install new firmware, double press the reset tab to get the board into the bootloader mode. Then drag and drop the file to automatically install the new firmware. It works like a USB drive so the code and libraries are stored on the device. The heart rate and cadence sensors are set up in the code so it's easy to change it for your setup. The code checks for nearby BLE sensors and handles the logic for displaying the updates. It's a great example of displaying sensors together using BLE libraries for CircuitPython. Get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. We're using the Cadence sensor from Wahoo. This will be mounted to the bike's foot pedal and spokes on the rear tire. 3D printed parts and hardware are used to make the clamp for the clue board. The case snap fits together and has a bezel to protect the display. To make this portable, you can wire up a slide switch JST adapter and connect it to a battery. Connect the battery to the switch and fit it on the back of the clue board. Secure the screen bezel by adhering it to the case using super glue. The clue board easily fits inside the case by press fitting it through the screen and the button cutouts. Fit the switch into the holder by inserting it at an angle. You want to tap the thread for the tripod screw using a 3 8 tapping tool. To ensure the tonsures have a nice fitting, create the thread by fastening the tapping tool. Use a tool with a flat tip to fasten and install the screw into the frame. We'll tap the bracket in the same way with another 3 8 to a quarter 20 screw. Install the back cover by snap fitting it into place. Use the built-in tab to reset the board whenever you need to install new firmware. You can pair the phone to the clue board using the BLE Connect app for iOS or Android. It will automatically connect to the heart rate and cadence sensor when the devices are awake and within range. Install the clamp to the handlebars using the captive nut and a M5 screw. This mini tripod swivel ball head is nice for adjusting the board so you get a good viewing angle. The Wahoo sensor is strapped to the bike frame near the rear tire. The magnet is secured to one of the spokes so it's lined up with the sensor. For better proximity, we needed to use extra magnets so it would reach the sensor. The magnet for the foot pedal is secured to the bar using a large rubber band that's securely wrapped. Lastly, we need to make sure to adjust the magnets so they're properly lined up with the sensor. We think this is a nice way to make a portable cycling project with Adafruit's Clue dev board. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.